Sergeant Dog Stubby of the First World War, the heroic story of America's most decorated war dog. The story of a dog so brave he saved lives and won hearts. This is the true heartwarming story of Stubby, a small, stump-tailed terrier who fought alongside Allied forces on the Western Front during World War I. This brave and clever dog could detect enemy soldiers, impending gas attacks, and even salute higher-ranking officers. But even more, this is the story of the remarkable friendship between an American soldier named Robert Conroy and the stray who adopted him and his unit. Sergeant Stubby C1916 was an American dog who served as the mascot of America's 102nd Infantry Regiment during the First World War. Found in Connecticut in 1917 by members of the infantry, Stubby was stowed away on a ship to France by a young soldier called Robert Conroy and went on to participate in four offensives and 17 battles. But how much do you know about the decorated war dog? Who was Sergeant Stubby? Nobody knows exactly when the dog later known as Sergeant Stubby was born, but it is thought to have been during the first half of the First World War. He was a dog of uncertain breed, described in early news stories as either a Bull Terrier or Boston Terrier, with a short stature, barrel shape and friendly temperament. Until 1917 it is thought that he wandered the streets of New Haven, Connecticut scrounging for scraps of food. But he was no ordinary stray, just a few years later, following the end of the First World War, the tenacious canine had become known as the most decorated dog in American history. The dog's fortunes changed in July 1917 when he began hanging around a group of soldiers, members of the 102nd Infantry Regiment, as they trained in the grounds of Yale University. One of the men, a 25-year-old private named Robert Conroy, took a shining to the young dog and began to take care of him, naming him Stubby for his stature and tail. Although the U.S. military didn't yet have an official military working dog program, Stubby's instincts and charm made him a firm favorite with the men of the regiment, who taught him how to raise his paw in salute. By the time the unit had left for France, Private Conroy had become so devoted to his new furry friend that he stowed him on the ship. When a commanding officer discovered Stubby's presence, the dog responded by saluting him. The officer was reportedly rendered speechless by the gesture, and the incident secured Stubby's place as the official mascot of the Yankee division. Stubby was involved in many battles while stationed overseas, including the Second Battle of Marne, July 1918, and the Battle of Chateau Thierry, July 1918. His sharp ears and ability to hear the whine of artillery shells before they landed were extremely useful, and Stubby was particularly helpful in locating wounded soldiers in no man's land. His sense of smell, too, meant that he could readily detect mustard gas attacks, he once saved an entire company by alerting the men to don their gas masks. He was present for four offensives and 17 battles in total, serving for around 18 months. One of Stubby's greatest recorded achievements occurred late one night on the Western Front. The incident was later relayed in Stubby's half-page obituary in the New York Times. In the Kemen des Dames, Stubby captured a German spy and saved a doughboy slang for a United States infantryman from a gas attack. Hearing a sound in the stillness of the night, the dog, who guarded sleeplessly, stole out of the trenches and recognized a German. Attempts by the German to deceive the dog were futile. Seizing his prisoner by the breeches, Stubby held on until help arrived. Alerted by the commotion, Stubby's fellow soldiers were then able to capture and imprison the spy. For his efforts that night, Stubby was issued an Iron Cross medal that had originally been given to the German spy. The obituary, in full here, was given a great deal more column space than many other notable people of the time. Following the war, Stubby returned home to America. He was honored with a medal for heroism from the Humane Education Society, an animal protection organization, and met with Presidents Woodrow Wilson, Calvin Coolidge and Warren G. Harding. After the war, he went on to become the mascot for a sports team at Georgetown University, Washington, D.C., where Conroy studied law and was given the unofficial rank of sergeant, a rank higher than that of his master. In 1926, Stubby died at home, reportedly in Conroy's arms. After his death, he was preserved with his skin mounted on a plaster cast. Conroy later presented Stubby to the Smithsonian in 1956. Thank you so much for watching my videos, like comment and subscribe smiley face. Have a nice day smiley face.